Hey y'all, it's Lady C in the place to be. Hubby has made some, what are you calling this baby? Broiled fish? Um, ooh, look at that. Woo! Haddock dog. Ooh. Baked haddock. Baked haddock. He seasoned this all up. Look at that, y'all. He made like a sauce with butter and garlic. Mm -hmm. Lemon. Oh, I'm going to slow pan it, y'all. I'm going to slow pan it. Oh, my goodness. And then he made some stringy beanies. Yes, yes, yes. And we're going to have sushi. Um, bean, I will, uh, I will oh, he put, he made his string beans, you guys. I know he was telling me he was going to put some, um, is it almonds, baby? Almonds. No. Almonds and what? Just some onions? Shallots. Oh, shallots. And garlic, you know. And like garlic in here, baby. Mm -hmm. So there's that. It's going to be yummy. I love string beans with all that in there. So, mm -hmm. And the fish is looking good. I'll show y'all after I make my plate. Um, probably also got us some sushi, but I show, I'll drop the pictures into that because we didn't make the sushi. But we definitely going to eat the sushi. Okay? All right, y'all, here's my plate. Hubby made like a sauce to go with the fish. Look at that. Well, this is just the juice off the fish. But there's the fish, y'all. This is cod. Oh, yes, so good. There's the string beans he made with the um, almonds and I call them onions. Um, and then here's our sushi. Yes, y'all know about that sushi. We got um, California roll and what else did you get, baby? Salmon or something? California salmon roll. Oh, California salmon roll. Okay. Yummy, yummy in the tummy. So, I'll be talking at y'all later. Bye-bye now. Friday lunch, y'all. These are the new Cantina chicken uh, burritos from Dollar Tree. I mean, Dollar Tree Lord, y'all. These are the Cantina chicken burritos from Taco Bell. And then we just got two hard shell tacos. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, Taco Friday, y'all. For lunch. Now, I'm upset, you guys, because the first time we got the avocado verde salsa from Taco Bell, it was in a larger container than this. And it looked like, um, like a relish, sort of. Now, this one we get, it looks like, I'll have to show y'all, but this doesn't look like what I was we got originally. Um, so I'm kind of wondering why we keep getting this. So we're in Maryland and the first time we got it, we were in a different Taco Bell, like in a different part of Maryland. It still does taste good, but it's not the same sauce. Um, and I picked up some other sauces like this. Yeah, but I want to give y'all a slow pan of my taco. And these burritos, they are really good. Get the Cantina, Cantina chicken burritos. Oh, wow, y'all. Oh, wow. y'all it's lady c in the place to be lady c's hogs and all and y'all know i always got something on friday because hubby always come through he cannot make a friday usually without getting some type of grocery okay so he had his mindset on and i and i said i'm down he had his mindset on steaks today um so we were saying oh we're we gonna get some steaks because meat has just gone crazy y'all okay crazy so we started thinking about where we we're going to get them from and we have this one place um it's called um let me give y'all the name it's called horizon foods and they have like i don't know it's like a big store and they have all kinds of different foods frozen foods just all kinds of stuff for like and it's in bulk for like discounted prices Okay, so hubby called them and asked them what they might have in the way of steak. And they said they had these beef tips. And we were like, hmm, that sounds pretty interesting. Ribeye tips. Rib tips. And they were saying that they were so good. So we're like, okay, well, we'll try that. You guys, you get this whole bag. Let me just show you. This whole bag of ribeye tips. But you can't see it because it's frozen, really. But this is a whole bag of ribeye tips for $20, right? But 20 something, 20 dollars yeah. Uh, twenty something dollars or twenty dollars. This is a lot. The lady that works in the store told my husband that they made like three meals off of this. 
we might even be able to do more net because it's really just the two of us, but we'll see. Um, so I'll show you guys when they're defrosted and when hubby does what he's going to do to them. Um, because we're going to do this today, I believe, and I'll come back and show you what's going on with that. So that's that. I'm going to give you the pricing at the end, you guys. So watch to the very end, okay? Um, now, this is another one of my loves from this store. Um, I don't even know. Let me see. What do they call them? Okay, they call these ribeye things. They call them steak bites. And these are shrimp. And... They, they call them shrimp jammers. You guys, these are like, um, I love them. I don't know where everybody else love them. They're really big. See how big they are? But they're shrimp, fried shrimp, but they have what, about jalapeno cheese in them? They're stuffed with jalapeno cheese. And oh my God, my husband made these. We've made them like quite a few times, maybe twice, at least twice. He said a lot of restaurants buy those. Yeah, he said a lot of restaurants buy them and sell them. These are so good. Six pieces for $8. Yeah, he said they usually, like, restaurants will sell the six pieces for $8. Uh, for and we're getting a whole bag for $7.26, you guys. And I know we still have the leftovers of the first bag. So that's been about, mm -hmm. God, how many meals? At least four. We've eaten them at least four times. And we got, look, we still have this leftover from the first bag. Hubby's going to cook these tonight. So we made out of this huge ba original bag... We made at least four meals, um, at least four to five. So for seven dollars, you can't beat that. You can do this shrimp. Yeah, it's not fake shrimp. It's real shrimp. It's got the real jalapeno cheese in it. It's already breaded. All you got to do is fry it. You don't even got to fry it. I think you can bake it if you wanted to. But these are good. So we're looking for deals like that. Oh, we are not playing around here. Because when you go in the grocery store, the meat prices will make you cry, okay? So we picked that up. Um, Puppy picked up these Hebrew National uh, Kosher Beef beef Franks. We love a good hot dog. My daughter's here today, and she asked her father for hot dogs. We, Our family, we love hot dogs. Hot dogs and baked beans. I can live off of it. People say that's a poor man's meal. Well, guess what? I'm a poor woman because I will tear some hot dogs and beans up, okay? Uh, it don't take much to make a meal out of that. When we were, when I was younger, my father would do hot dogs, baked beans, and we would have a side of applesauce. And me and my brother would love that because you know you had the cold applesauce with the hot baked beans and the, and the hot dogs. Oh my God, that was like I don't know. It was just like the most wonderful meal. Anyway, um, yeah. So hubby has all this. He's gonna grill the hot dogs. Are you grilling the steak, babe? He's going to grill these tips. Um, we're going to do some of the shrimp on the side. And he's got, these are the Bush's Zero Sugar Added Baked Beans from Dollar Tree. If you guys have watched any of my hauls, we've had these ones, didn't we? Mm -hmm. And they were good. So we're going to do these again. And I'll, I'll handle this. I got that. I'll show you guys how I put that together. It ain't nothing special. You just take them beans, put some brown sugar in them. If you ain't got brown sugar, use white sugar. Put some butter if you want it. Cut up some onion, which Hubby always cuts me up some onion. Which I think we got some leftover onion in the refrigerator. Um, we put onion, and that's about it. You just put it in the oven, let it bake, or if you don't want to put it in the oven, you put it on the stove, put it in a pot, let it go. Let them flavors get through it, and you got some good baked beans, y'all. Um, then Hubby picked up some bamboo paddle skewers. He likes these skewers. I don't think... Well, I guess he's going to put the beef on the skewer. I don't know. Yeah, he's going to put the beef on these skewers. He used these a lot, <clears throat> so we're going to use these today. Now we got a good old drink and drink. You know, it's getting summer. Beautiful outside, you guys. I don't know if you can see it. Um, we've got some of that Sutter Home Family Vineyard Chardonnay. Okay. Oh, we got that. We picked that up from our local um, liquor store. And then Hubby, he does light beer. Um, this is natural light. He got a six pack of them. Now I'm not pushing alcohol. If y'all don't like alcohol, then you get your most, you know, non-alcoholic drink and you get comfortable with it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever you're comfortable with for your summer drink or for your relaxation drink, you grab that and you sit down and you relax because today is Friday. Yes. Yeah, I hope you got the fireplace going and 
you know. Like He's got degrees. my candles going, you know. He said it's kind of chill. It's about 50 degrees. It is cold. But we got the windows open because we're letting some air go through. You know, sometimes you got to let air go through. My grandfather was a doctor, and he used to always make us sleep with the windows open. And we'd be like, oh, my God. You know, like in the wintertime, it would be so cold. But he would be saying, you know, you're doing that so you can let those germs go out of the house. You know, you're not keeping the windows and the doors all closed up. You got to open everything up to get those germs out. You guys, excuse how I'll be in the background. He is being a good husband and washing dishes, so, or putting them in the dishwasher, so y'all got to excuse that. Um, but anyway, that's what we're doing today. I'll come back and show you some of his prep, um, you know, for the meat and everything. And I'll show you my plate. I'll show you shrimp. But that's all I wanted to say, you guys. Ain't nothing else going on. Oh, I forgot the pricing already. You know I'm old. Um, okay, from Horizon Foods. That's the name of it. Horizon Foods on Pulaski Highway in Joppa, Maryland. If anybody is near there, www.nowwebsite.com. Something like that. Here it is for y'all. Okay, the steak bites. Again, like I told you, this whole big bag <clears throat> this whole big bag of steak bites you guys okay was $23.77 we're going to show y'all what we can do with these and I'm going to tell y'all how long this lasts they, they base it on pounds, $4.50 a pound okay so they base it on poundage and it does say here $5.09 a pound at $4.67 a pound let me show y'all so you know I'm not lying to you. That's what they did to get the price. So I guess if you would have got a smaller bag, it would have been a, a smaller price. Okay? Um, then we got the shrimp jammers that I showed y'all, you guys. And they were $7.26. The total for all this, for all this good meat, at least three meals. For all this shrimp, I mean, we at least get four to five meals out of that bag. All of that was only $30.01. You can't beat that. You cannot beat that. Now, the hot dogs, he must have had these in the freezer already because they're not on there. We had these in the freezer, so we can't include those. But $30 for this meat and the shrimp, you cannot beat that, okay? Um, yeah, that was a pretty good deal. If we get any more deals from there, and we start bringing them home, I will be showing them to y'all. Um, I will be out and about this weekend. I'll be asked to work. I hate when my husband has to work because we can't do anything. Um, but he has to work to make up for not working um, <laughs> his part-time job. So we are, um, I'll be at the Dollar Tree. tomorrow morning um there's not much you guys i mean you guys know about all the summer stuff at dollar tree you've seen that they've got all the patriotic stuff you kind of seen that they have the graduation stuff you've seen that um when i say summer graduation patriotic and then the shore living that's what's out if i find anything man i'll be walk through i have a walkthrough coming up or that i may have already put out there for y'all me and hubby went to dollar tree the other day we weren't finding too, too much um, new, you know, brand new stuff. But the shelves are, you know, the shelves are stocked. It's just you got to find it. You got to dig at this point. If you want to do a haul, you better be digging. Um, but that's about it. Just want to talk to y'all for a little bit. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a happy Friday. Y'all be safe out there. Um, and just stay blessed, you guys. I'm going to come back. I'm going to keep hauling and keep hauling for as much as I can haul. Love y'all. Smooches. Bye-bye now. Hey, y'all. I'm back. Forgot to add in these hot dog rolls. I showed you guys how we already had these in the freezer. These are Hebrew really Nationals are bomb, y'all, okay? Um, so he had those in the freezer. We're going to have them. My daughter requested. And then he picked up some hot dog rolls. These came from Dollar General, okay? Y'all know Dollar General. Some things you can get at Dollar General better than Dollar Tree. These are okay. I mean, you can't really get a good hot dog roll from Dollar Tree. Um, we don't normally see them. They don't even tell them no, they yeah, I don't think they, not around here. They sell the expensive ones. Yeah, that's what I said. Not around here. They sell Martins, and those are like four dollars. And I'm not doing that. So, we, hubby went to Dollar General and got the Clover Valley, which is their name brand. 
hot dog buns. You get eight of them in the pack, and they're soft enough. Um, these were $1.50, and I love it. When they're under $2, any bread under $2 is my friend. Um, as long as it's not bad, I don't see no grain, we doing good. Um, and then if we don't eat all these, I'm going to put them in the freezer because I don't want them to go bad. All right? Say hi, everybody. He's being bad, y'all. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. Just wanted to show you guys that. I forgot to add it in. Bye-bye now. This is how much of it. Okay, you guys, I wanted to show you what that beef did that I showed this you that was frozen. There's only like a quarter of the bag. And I got at least three more meals like this. There's only a quarter of the bag, you guys. You probably want to eat all this. Look at all this beef. All, Lord. all that marbling in it. All the marbling in it. That is a quarter of the bag. So how many more meals do you think? This really is more than one meal because yeah. I'm not. we're not going to eat all this. There's so no way. There's at least three more, four more meals in that bag. Oh, okay. So that's a good deal, you guys. That's mm -hmm. a good deal. Hope you guys have a horizon or something like it near you. Y'all, I'm going to show you me making my beans now. I'll be cutting me up some onion. So there's the onion. I'm going to use a little bit of the mustard. The beans into the container right here. And all you're going to do, spread them out in your casserole dish, whatever, however you want to do it, right? It is nothing serious. It is so easy. Okay. And I'm going to turn you off, turn you back on, you guys. So now I've mixed in, I just put in a little bit of light brown sugar. If you don't have light brown sugar, use white sugar. It doesn't matter. I like brown sugar. Um, some people, uh, one, my husband's friend, we went to his house for a barbecue. He used sugar and he used syrup. And let me tell you, his beans were a bomb, okay? Oh, and I think he added a little bit of um, barbecue sauce to his too. I don't normally put barbecue sauce in mine. Um, and I don't need a lot of sugar because I'm not a big, you know, sugar girl. But hubby's going to add a little bit of the syrup. Because let me tell you, his friend made them, and he added syrup, and it was so good. We was, like, thinking he, he did, like, did we, baby? We thought he had this major recipe, right? So we tasted the beans. We're like, oh, my God, the beans are so good. We were like, where did you, what did you do? What did you put in them? He was like, you ain't going to guess. He's like, what you, what you think I put? We was like, what? He said syrup. We was like, oh, my God. You guys, you, it didn't even taste like syrup. It was so, they were so good. And they weren't overly sweet. He just must have just put a little, just enough. You know, I like to mix everything around just to get the, the sugar going throughout. So you don't need a lot. Now, I've had some beans at people's houses that were so sweet to make your mouth, you know. <laughs> it'll make your mouth cut up. Um, but I just like mine to be sweet enough. I don't like plain beans. My husband, on the other hand, he grew up eating pork and beans where it's just plain. Now, I don't like plain, plain nothing. I don't want no baked beans without nothing in them. They got to have... Some kind of sweetness. It can't be just plain pork and beans. Um, that's not my style. Now, if I was hungry, you know how you never know about the times. If I was hungry and we ain't had nothing else, then guess what? That'd be what I was eating. Okay. Um, hubby just now he just doing everything as I talk, y'all. He put a little bit of what kind of barbecue sauce was that, babe? Um, was it Kraft? Kraft. Yeah. Okay, he added just a little bit of Kraft barbecue sauce. Doesn't have to be a name brand, you guys. You put whatever you got in there. He's adding these. These are red onion, but you can put white onion. You can put whatever. When we have green pepper, which we do, but we ain't really got to get into it like that, people will add green pepper. They will add sausage. You can add um, her hamburger meat, turkey meat. I don't like meat in my beans, really, except for hubby will cut up hot dogs. Um, sometimes we'll cut up hot dogs and put them in here. But some people will put uh, sausage, ground sausage, or you can just cut up your kibasa and put that in there. It's however you, the flavor that you want. Think about your flavors before you start to cook. You know, so I know what flavor I want for this. I want it to have a little bit of sweet. I love onion on anything. So I got everything that I want for my beans in here. Now, if I wanted everything else, I'd put it in there. Um... Hubby has some seasoning, but I don't put seasoning in my... No, yeah, no. yeah, it's just some seasoning. I don't normally season my beans. You could. You could do whatever you want to your beans. If you want to put some veggies in here, 
do it. Do whatever you, whatever makes you feel good. You know, you can make this into a meal. A baked bean casserole. Put your sausage and your hot dog in there. Huh? I know, this, it's been storming off and on, you guys. We don't know what in the world. Like it was sunny five minutes ago, okay? And then, and that, then all of a sudden it'll just start raining. So we don't know what's going on. It's kind of crazy. But God bless everybody, huh? God bless everybody. Um, I'm praying for everybody who's having issues with this weather right now. Anybody that's just having health issues. Anybody that's having any kind of issue right now. I'm saying a prayer for you. So pray for me and my family. And I'm going to pray for you. We're going to do a cheer on it because hubby then gave me some of this uh, Sutter's Home. Chardonnay. Oh, yeah. Oh, and it hits the spot, y'all. Let me tell you. Mm, 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 that's good. My oven is telling me it's ready. It's at 350. And we're going to put these beans in there and go add it. Hubby's got the um, skewers on the grill. And um, yeah, I'll come back and show you when everything is done. I think we're going to have corn too. Are you doing it or no? Well, he hasn't even taken it out yet. You guys saw we may not have corn. Um, we, uh, we may have, do we have any potato? Or we gotta have a veggie, so we'll see what we get to. Talk to you guys later. Bye bye. Y'all, so hubby's about to do the corn, and he reminded me now. He uses Dollar Tree more than me now, but he's the one that found this in Dollar Tree, you guys. This is new. I've never seen it. It's the Spice It Up Progresso Spicy Chicken Broth, and he poured a little bit of this in here. We're gonna use that with our corn, so that's gonna really give it a good flavor, y'all. So he's putting the corn in here. We're going to season the corn up, put some butter in here. Oh, yeah, maybe some garlic. Yeah, we're going to try this spicy chicken broth. I'm so excited. $1.25 at the DT, y'all. There's the corn. We're going to season it up. Butter. Okay, so put it in the broth. You don't have to use broth. You can use water. It's up to you. Um, you're going to put it in there. We're going to put um, pepper. I usually do garlic powder or regular garlic if you want to do that. Butter. That's about it, pepper, you know. You ain't got to do too much, but I'll come back and show you. Got him on the schooler. He said he's got him on, um, what you got, low sear right now. And then he's going to put him on a high heat. Look at them, y'all. Ooh, I'm going to tell you about them when I get to eating them. I'm going to tell you about them. Um, look how dark it is outside, y'all. We are outside. We're using our outside light, but it is pitch black. And the sky, look at the sky. It has been so crazy with the storming, you guys. Oh my God, it's ridiculous. Anyway. And then the eclipse on for everybody. Yeah, that's why I said after the eclipse, it's like everything went crazy. We're gonna be out on this deck though, y'all. Y'all see my chairs? I got, I'm buying all my stuff from Dollar Tree. Me and Hubby gonna be out here. Once everything gets back to normal, we're gonna be decorated and chilling out here. Ooh, you can smell, you guys will be happy. All right, y'all. All the hot dogs are grilled and done. Yes, yes. Now these are perfectly grilled, but I will eat mine dark. I love a black hot dog. Y'all know I ain't playing, but these are gonna be good. Just look at that, y'all. Look at that, Jesus. Ooh. Now people talk about eating hot dogs and all that, but I don't care. I love them. Mm. Here is hubby's, um, those frozen shrimps. Got the, got the jalapeno um, cheese in them. Oh my God, you guys, they are so good. He's gonna fry these up, I believe. We're gonna have them on the side. There is our corn, you guys. I just put some pepper, some garlic powder. Um, he did use that spicy chicken broth in here. Oh, I think it's gonna be good, y'all. And then I took some butter and melted it and poured it in there too. So that's how that's going to look. All right, yo. Yes, yes, yes. There it is, y'all. Oh, yes. These, what are they, baby? Beef tips? Ribeye tips. Ribeye tips are done. I'll be putting them on skewers, and they look good to me. Oh, yeah. We're just letting them rest. 
and we'll be eating these yummy yummy Here's my plate, you guys. Hubby made the corn. There's the corn, y'all. <coughs> There's the baked beans. There's our tips on the skewer. Oh, these are so good, y'all, and juicy. Mm. There's my shrimp. And here's Hubby's plate, y'all. There's his hot dog. I didn't do the hot dogs. His baked beans, his corn, and his tips. A little bit of Put a little bit of Worcester on his steak. Yummy. Oh yeah, y'all. That is yummy, yummy. You would think it was a beautiful summer day outside, but it is truly not. <laughs> we are tearing this up. Talk at y'all later.